All right, guys, so it is late October. Um, rut is basically here, pre, I say rut, that includes pre, um, where bucks are scraping, tearing trees up, fighting, establishing dominance. Um, guys, this is um, a <clears throat> time of year that I like to put a couple different cameras out in regards to helping me gather until this year to help me build a hunting plan next year. We're gonna dive a little deeper into that. I've said it before, you'll hear me say it again, I will continue to say it. Help the deer do what deer want to do. Gathering information for next year, that's that's what this episode is, we're gonna go over real quick. Um, guys, I'm hanging a camera right back here on this tree. Um, this, this pinch point right here is on a hillside. I got a lot of brush to my left. I got real steep, rocky, just nasty, thick brush and briars to my right. This is a, just a very small, narrow travel corridor between two bedding areas. Um, I've noticed quite a bit of traffic up here in the <clears throat> excuse me in the past when I was hunting different areas of the farm I noticed bucks would come in over here exit over here and vice versa I'm gonna hang this camera it's not a cell camera uh, I'm gonna use the steps that I outlined in the last video to how to get basically how to get better quality pictures less false triggerings things of that nature um, but my, I'm gonna set this camera on two or three picture burst mode I got new batteries uh, SD card that can hold a lot of pictures this is not gonna get like stupid amounts of pictures like a say a mineral site or a scrape or you know a feeder or things like that but the information I'm looking for is the bucks on this farm um, they can go anywhere they want to but the closer we get to rut uh, and that rutting activity, the more they're going to be intentional um, and really more slip up on their activity. You know, mainly in this spot, it's going to be checked, scent checking the two bedding areas um, and then going on and proceeding to other areas. I want to gather that intel. I don't have a stand here. I have a tree picked out to possibly put a stand in, but I'm letting the camera do the scouting for me instead of sitting up here, putting a lot of time in trying to learn this. I have a diff I have you know other areas that I'm focusing on for 2022, 2023. I'm gonna let this camera tell me if this is a spot I need to hone in on. My gut tells me it is, but this is gonna do a lot of the, the legwork for me gathering that information. Um, bucks ha <coughs> have patterns, they stick to them uh, very, it just, it's intriguing how well they stick to these patterns throughout the deer seasons. Um, so that's something that I'm really going to gather, pay attention to, um, you know, mature bucks, not so mature bucks. That way I can build more history on this farm with more of these bucks to help build a plan to kill them in the future. So that's, that's a wrap on this episode. Um, you know, you're, like I said, when you want, when you hang these sets, I'm, I'm not gonna pull this until after deer season. So hit back to the last episode, uh, Building Whitetails for some tips on how to get better um, pictures from your trail cameras. Uh, guys, great luck this rut. Uh, send, me your, send me your deer, guys have already started sending me pictures of bucks they've shot. It's awesome, I love it. Um, couple, you know, some guys are telling me, hey, I put you know, a lot of this information to work. Um, I am just really thankful that a lot of the info that I have either learned the hard way or been taught, I can pass on to you guys and help you have a more successful deer season. So guys, keep up the good work, keep at it, hunt hard and enjoy deer season.